Petr Cech talking after that game against Manchester City yesterday. And of course, we spoke about it a little bit earlier on, this idea that he's now been asked to play out the back a little bit more. From your experience as a 36-year-old as a goalkeeper, how difficult is it to adapt your, your game and change your distribution? It depends on how good you are with your feet. <laughs> and, uh, um, it's, I think even at the age of 36, uh, you can practice and practice and you can improve. Um, it's the amount of passes or uh, playouts you have to do. And what I said before, uh, the game dictates you when to build up yeah, and when to play a diagonal floater or long ball. And um, I think yesterday he has exaggerated a little bit to play out. Um, you know, you were a player as well. Sometimes it's just better <laughs> to not do what your coach is probably asking you to do mm. because you understand in that situation mm. the game and better than anybody else. Yeah, I agree. You have to, you have to, play, to, to play to the game. The other thing is, I felt sorry for Czech. I didn't see a lot of the players wanting the ball. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't, there wasn't too many angles, wasn't too many people coming. And, and when he did pass it to him, it was like, you, know, you have it back again. So I, I felt for him, but th this man's been around. He's played seven, he probably played seven, six, seven hundred games. He won everything in the game. He should be big enough and strong enough to go, right, everybody get up. This is not working. It's not working. Everybody get up. We'll hit it long. We're playing their half and we'll go from there. You know, for Arsenal to think that they're going to roll the ball out from the back and, and go through Man City like it's a PlayStation game is, is beyond me. And, and that was surprised me with Czech. I thought he should have just put the ball down. The, the, the Man City goal is as good as anybody with his feet. He can hit a ball, he can hit eight, but he don't mess about. Look at the League Cup final, the Carabao Cup final last year. He just went, bang, 70-yard ball over the top to Aguero, scored. You know, Pep Guardiola probably said didn't tell him to do that before the game. That's, that's his experience or his vision to go, right, Arsenal are pushing up on us, I'm just going to smash this long. And, and that's, what I, that's what I found weird about Czech yesterday. I mean, this is, this is not a young kid. It's not like a, a Pickford or someone like that who's just coming into the game. This is, this is an experienced, world-class goalie who's been around for a long time who should have said, wait there, Everybody get up. I'm hitting this ball long. This ain't working. You have to consider, um, principally, you're right, but you have to consider there's a new guy came in for 20 million. Uh, he's competition. Mm. So even as a 36-year-old yeah, I mean, guy... I mean, this is Peter Cech. Think... I mean, he's won everything in the game. If he's going to be worried about a, a 21, 23-year-old lad who's just come over, you know, you don't want that. He's, he's got to be big we, enough. I mean... He's we don't got know, to be big yeah. enough, he's got to. Yeah, um, we don't know, we don't know what the coach is like. Yeah, if mm. he tells him you play out, no matter what happens, yeah, he has to do it. Do. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. Not, if not, the other guy is playing. Yeah. So sometimes well, if he keeps you're a little bit that, dependent If, if on he keeps that. on doing that, he'll be sitting here in about six months. That's true. It will be. Are we seeing this uh, more of a trend? You talk about Edison as well, playing out from the back, and also the likes of Alisson perhaps mm. being brought in because of his ability with the ball at his feet. Is this the way that modern goalkeeping is going, that they'll be expected to do this more often? Oh, I think so. I think so. I think, that, yeah. I think they keep on wanting to play out. I think this is the new, the new thing at the moment. Everything comes around. There's a new... You know, fashion the, almost. Yeah, of course it is. The big centre-forward was the big fashion, yeah. wasn't it? Now, how many, how many teams have got a big centre-forward? Yeah. But they're spending a lot of money on goalies. I've got no problem with that. You know, when people go, oh, 60 million for a goalie, you pay 60 million pounds for a forward. You look through World Cups, you look through Champions League finals, you look through Premier League history. No one ever wins anything without a good goalie. Do you think that's warranted, Jens, in terms of the price tag for the goalkeepers suddenly shooting up? Um, well, it's, uh, I think the goalkeeper obviously uh, is not that, uh, uh, that uh, unimportant uh, and what you said is right, without a good goalkeeper you don't win anything. I remember when I came to England, um, I was sweeping balls just 40, 50 yards in front of my goal and everybody said, uh, he's mad, he's not a keeper, he's mad. And um, now you have to you ask everybody to play like that. For me, modern goalkeeping is just not to concede goals. <laughs> and um, what I have to say as well is uh, that um, probably 5% or, or only a very, very few percentage of uh, keepers are really well educated in that respect because yeah. uh, they, are, they don't know how to organize. Um, they, don't have, they don't have the right points of reference. Uh, they don't have a, a vision in uh, looking around, organizing and knowing where the ball can come. Um, they are good with their feet now, the top guys, but that's not enough. That's only one small part of the game. 
When you saw Peter yesterday, he made some crucial saves as well. And um, mm -hmm. that's still most important if you can kick out or if you can play a good ball or not. Yeah, you should be good with your hands, should have a good uh, dominance in your area and a good organisation. Could you say that arguably Jordan Pickford got in the England squad ahead of Jack Butland because of his, uh, because of his ability? He started the games. Uh, what, his ability of passing the ball? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I... I'm with the hands. I'm, it's like the old, it's like the old centre forward. Do, do you have a Tony Adams, a Paul McGrath, you know, someone like that? When the ball comes, they just kick it into Rose Ed, get back into position, make sure your team your team doesn't concede. Or do you want centre after who are going to come out and pass the ball? And I think that's the thing with goal is no. I, I think I think Gareth made his mind up very quickly on that one. I, I don't think it's because of the passing. I think it's maybe just because of the shot stopping. I think, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, you go for, for all the passes and you pass out from the back. You, you watch every goal in the Premier League last week. How many goals are scored where the goalie passes it to the full-back sideways and they, they pass the ball through and we all sit there and go, God, that was 35 passes. How's that happen? <laughs> it it doesn't happen. happen. But it happens in Manchester City, though. It, it, it doesn't. You watch. It doesn't. You watch. It very rarely happens where the, where the goalie passes it sideways out the box and... They pass it through everybody and they score. It's very rare. It might break down in between and then they get the ball back, but it's very rare, very rare. So I think, think the percentage of long yeah. ball City plays is quite high. Yeah, he plays very good long balls sometimes mm. on the floor. Yeah. yeah. So it's not just a 10 meter pass to the side and then what you said playing out. Um, there's, I think there's a they have a great, They have it perfect, Man City. They have a great mix mm. where you go and squeeze them and then he'll ping a ball. And then you think, we, we ain't getting beat here, so we, then we come and sit back and then they pass it out. And they have it perfect. They have it perfect. Barcelona had it perfect. I mean, remember when Man United squeezed them once at Wembley in the Champions League. They were so comfortable, then they'd just chip it into midfield and someone would hold it up and then they'd run off. And, you know, Pep Guardiola at the moment, for me, is, is head and shoulders at the moment. It is getting higher, though, when you look at the stats for the number of passes per minute in, uh, per game in terms of goalkeepers. It is getting higher. So there's, there's, there's a trend coming, isn't there? I think uh, when you use a goalkeeper, it needs to give you possession. And it uh, ranges the, the opposition a little bit because um, they always need to take the risk to close down the goalkeeper, mm. to try to force him to play a long ball, which is easier to defend. There's another statistic, for example, when you play long balls, uh, the team which plays the most long balls uh, will most of the time lose the game because um, the percentage of uh, coincidence is higher. And um, that's why you always try to control the ball by playing out from the back. Um, I think it's, uh, more, it's not that much to uh, try to build from the keeper an attack where you actually can score. It's more to not have the opposition have the ball. Yeah, so they're getting tired. After a while, they're getting tired. Probably in the first half, they try a little bit. After the 60 or 70 minutes in the Premier League, they don't do it anymore because they know the keeper is good with his feet. Uh, so we let him play. The goalkeeper, Ben Leno, that's, that's just signed for Arsenal. He didn't start at the weekend against Manchester City. Do you, mo do you know much about him? Do you know what we can expect from him? Of course I know him. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, a young guy when I played at Stuttgart. Um, every now and again, he came training with us. Uh, he has developed really well. He's a good goalkeeper. Um, at Leverkusen, he didn't have competition. So sometimes keepers tend um, to play, yeah, and it uh, doesn't really matter if he mm. plays top or not because there's no competition. So um, he's been asked at Arsenal to um, step up his game a little bit, to take more risks because uh, that's actually, I like players who take risks because uh, you can expect more from them. Mm. And sometimes they fail. But in the long run, you get out of them a lot. And um, if he does that, uh, for this year or next year, I don't know when Peter try, uh, wants to retire, um, then he will play, but he has to do that.